Now, Cassini has one last daring assignment. Now, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi film, but this drama is real. Today, the Cassini space mission to explore life on Saturn came to an emotional end as it was brought down to the surface of the planet that's become the centre of its universe. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on planet Earth, an unforgettable moment for the team who have spent 20 years steering the spacecraft to Saturn. As one of the scientists involved spoke to Five News, he was close to tears. All of a sudden, it's it, it over. And, you know, I'm, I'm not the only one. I think everybody really has a, a few tears in their eyes um, today because of this. It's the, it's, the, it's the end of an era, really. We, we, I don't think I'll ever see another mission like this in, in my lifetime. Three, two, one and liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft. The year was 1997 when the Cassini space mission launched. It was certainly a long haul flight. It took seven years to travel two billion miles to Saturn before embarking on a 13 year journey, discovering six more moons around the ringed planet. Here at the Greenwich Royal Observatory, home to one of Britain's oldest telescopes, astronomers told me it's been an invaluable mission. Crucially, is there life out there? Cassini has shown us that one of Saturn's moons, Enceladus, is a very good contender to find extraterrestrial life in our solar system. It might be right on our doorstep. Uh, Cassini's given us just enough tantalizing information, I think, to warrant a second look. So hopefully we're going to see Cassini 2 dedicated to finding life. And perhaps as one quest closes, another chapter will open. Minnie Stevenson, 5 News.